Woohoo! I am actually frying some seasoned french fries. Fresh homemade fries. And I'm gonna throw some cheddar cheese on it. And these are actually tofurkey, some plant based tofurkey. I've never had the peppered um, tofurkey, so. And I don't like it raw either. But I've been eating tofurkey for years on end. My dad probably makes the best tofurkey during Thanksgiving. But these are deli slices tofurkey that I usually like to fry before I eat them just a little bit. And I am just going to have it like a sloppy joe tofurkey, sloppy tofurkey fry. That's what this is. Let's just call it something. Sloppy tofurkey fry, french fry. To sloppy tofurkey french fry. No, I'm not high. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Woke up. Don't know what day it is. Just know that cops are continuing to murder innocent souls. If you have not shed a tear today, then you have no humanity in you. As hard as someone can be, as cold as someone can be, to watch that video and not shed a tear at all, to not want that individual to pay for what he did, all of them that stood by, to not want to jump through those, your know, phone, your know, TV screen and do what you can to save someone. I don't know what world we're living in right now. It's so frightening. Every day you wake up, we are literally living history. We're in the pandemic. 2020 has been nothing but fear, sadness, death. Humanity that is no longer there. I mean, empathy that's no longer there. Like, people, wake up. What are we doing? I am literally living in a city where it's dead now. We are leaving our homes just when we need to buy items that are essential to every day. We are working from our homes. We are talking to our friends and families through our phones. We are touching them through glass. And then we're breaking every law to party and drink and have a social life because this problem, this virus is not fixed yet, but because we want to be out, oh, we have rights, we have our constitutional rights. You know what? We all do, but there's also times that we got to think as humans for each other and not think about ourselves for the moment and how it's going to affect everybody else. Those with conditions, those with illnesses that you, what you might pick up because you want to be on the beach or be at a bar or be anywhere, partying or doing whatever, going to the mall. Where, where are you shopping and going, first of all? What are you shopping for? I mean, is there a club open right now that you are shopping, doing, buying clothes, going to the mall? Like, why? What is the need? Stay on your asses home. Do you guys not know history repeats itself? Yes, the Spanish flu happened, but when that second wave came, it took double digits in millions. That's when it killed the most. And all of you that saying that, oh, when it's my time, it's my time, I'll go. And you guys are saying that we're going to die anyways, or if I get it, we'll work through it. You know what? When it, that happens to someone in your family, you must not have family in the front lines. Your sister, your mother, your father, your brother, your best friend, they're probably not in the front lines because if they were, you would not be breaking these rules or you would not be phasing in so quickly just to go back to a life that's not even important. Just weeks ago, all of us was treasuring our homes and our family and spending that time and literally when the doors opened, to something you were out and you forgot everything that ever mattered. Like seriously people, for once in your life stop thinking about only yourself. You live in a world like we are no longer the country that everybody wants to go to. 
People are hating us. We are a disgraced nation right now. We are literally turning our backs on each other instead of turning around and giving each other a smile. We're giving that stare, that look, that I don't care. Wake up, people. It's If not, God is going to show us something and it's not going to be good. And he's already given us enough signs. Mother Nature is not going to play around. We know what 2020 started like and how it is. We're six months into the year and we've been at home. And this entire year so far has been nothing but tears, sadness, crying, shock. Pan a pandemic that started two and a half months into the year, but that's been there since the beginning of the year, before the year started. People dying nonstop one after another, but yet we want to enjoy ourselves instead of just sitting back and waiting. In years to come, you guys will regret the decisions that you made. You will regret. Anyhow, sorry that I had this little rant. Um, it's just, you're not human if you are not sitting back at home and wondering and watching the TV or your, the videos on your phone and just questioning, oh my gosh, what is happening to this world? I just know that I wish everybody well. I don't want people dying. I don't want people hurt. I know we all are going to have our days sooner or later, but can we leave that up to God? Not do it purposely. Not hurt others. Not hurt yourselves. Can we please, for once, think about everybody else in this world? Not only yourself. Not only for the moment. Not about your rights. Right now, the only rights we have and should have is the right to live. And everyone should be respecting that. I send blessings to all of you guys. And I'm going to go have my seasoned fries. It's my peppered plant-based tofurkey and cheddar cheese. Peace and love. Lotus Eyes Gypsy signing off. God bless. This was definitely a quick fix vegetarian craving. This is homemade seasoned fries, cheddar cheese, tofurkey, and this is peppered tofurkey, and crushed red pepper, and garlic powder, and some salt. So let's call this, what did I say? Um, we're going to call this the sloppy, sloppy... Sloppy Furky Fry. Sloppy Furky Fry. That's it. The Sloppy Furky Cheddar Fry. Aha! That's it. Sloppy Furky Cheddar Fry. Badang! I mean, it is amazing. Let's taste it. Oh my lord. Honestly, I should be on a TV show right now making these quick fixes. Wow. This is amazing. I might throw some chopped fresh onions on this on top of that. God, this is delicious. Look at that. I mean, it probably doesn't look as great, but it tastes amazing. The flavor, the cheddar cheese, the tofurkey deli slices that's peppered, the garlic powder. Wow. The sloppy furkey. Cheddar Fry, Sloppy Furky Cheddar Fry, introduced by the one and only Lotus Eyes Gypsy. What? Peace. I'm back, so I did it. I threw some chopped onions on it. I know this probably doesn't look appetizing to you, but oh my lord. And no, I'm not high. The in the moment experimenting cooking is the best especially when you're trying to make something real quick like i literally threw this together within 15 minutes and just in the moment of what i wanted to throw together and i do this a lot but gosh darn it if this was a, on a menu at any place like to go food this would be a hit 
Sloppy Furky Cheddar Fry. Sloppy Turkey Cheddar Fry. I'm actually going to start making this and make this part of one of my dishes. The uh, Sloppy Furky Cheddar Fry. You guys should try it. I will definitely put down what I did, but this is amazing. Like I am, and the onions in it, the raw onions in it. Wow. I just like added major flavor. I'm so excited about this because this is my new concoction, which came out delicious. It's got everything. My carbs, protein, it's got it all. So for me, it's all my spice and it's all vegetarian. Look at that. Introducing once again, the sloppy Furky cheddar fry with onions or without. With onions or without. And that's how you order it. I decided to have it with onions. And of course, you can add anything else on the top. Peace and love. Bye bye. I seriously cannot get over that I just made this. This is absolutely delish. The sloppy, furky cheddar fry with onions. That's right. I said it. Sloppy, furky cheddar fry with onions. Wow. I mean, this is so delicious that... Oh, my God. No, I'm not high, but good Lord. Oh my God, it's delicious. It's either me or quarantine's getting to me. But this is so good. Sorry if you can hear me too, but I have to let you guys know how delicious this is. Wow, wow, wow. I'll be putting this up for sure. Peace and love. Be kind to each other, people. Take care. Bye.